so in you go. We got a gold. Original spot. Oh. So you're inside the north gate. Two things I want you to think about here for a second. One, each and every one of the people on your cards stood in this space you're standing in. This north gate was the main entrance point. Now, this is a reconstruction, so it's not original, but it's on the original spot. Exact same size, exact same dimensions, exact same spot. Each one of these people stood where you're standing. They looked around and they saw what you're seeing. And now we're going to start to feel what they felt. I want you to look around at each other. All right. Now, I want you to look back out that way. That right there is freedom. You guys just looked around at each other. One out of three of you, look back around at each other again, one out of three of you is not going to see that again. Um, well, I'm already surviving on the high school. <laughs> <laughs> You're now confined as a prisoner of war. I want you to look around for a moment. Look up at these walls. I want you to think for a minute, what does it feel like to be surrounded? What does it feel like to be trapped? After a few minutes, you start to, to not even feel human anymore. You feel like a caged animal. And you start to panic a little bit. Your breath starts to quicken. You get lightheaded. You're hot. You're tired. You're sick. You're nervous. That's just incredibly convenient. And then, uh, this thought hits you. Your mother does not know you're here. Your mother is back home in Wisconsin, in New York, in Massachusetts, in Tennessee. Maybe you've been writing letters to her every few weeks. All of a sudden, the letters just stop coming. Maybe you're dead in a ditch on some battlefield somewhere. She doesn't know you're here. You have no way of letting her know that. Your mother, your wives, your children. James Gooding, 54th Massachusetts, one of the, one of the few black soldiers that's held prisoner here. Uh, his, he was brought here um, in February of 1864, one of the early prisoners to arrive. Uh, got here in March, rather. He was captured in February. He got here in March. And his wife got word that he had been killed in battle. She's drawing a widow's pension while he's alive in this place. As a prisoner of war, you're no longer in control of your own fate, but your loved ones no longer have any control. The unknown, the fear of the unknown is what's consuming you at this point. You don't feel human anymore. You feel trapped. And you don't know what's going to happen. All right? Before we walk out into the main part of the prison, why don't you take one last